hello guys um today we are going to be looking at um how to calculate the mean deviation of any given group distribution so we have the question displayed right on the screen so we'll move quickly to get uh to know how to actually calculate the mean deviation of a group data now look at the formula we can have the formula you can see the formula here okay which md stands for mean deviation is actually equals to summation f into the absolute of the deviation which is x minus x bar and um, summation f now you need to know the definition of the parameters so let's start with the first parameter the first parameter here we have is f which stands for frequency okay then we have our x which stands for mid value I'm going to be explaining this later. Then we have our X bar, which stands for the mean. Now, this is where we, it is very important that I explain some things here. We need the mean to calculate the mean division. So hence, we have to calculate the mean. And that is why you see the first question says we should calculate the mean of the distribution. And what is mean? Mean of the distribution is having the formula summation Fx all over summation f now we have to deal with this first before we can get our mean deviation so quickly let's move uh, to the table and you see all these that i just mentioned now okay on the screen i have the table now remember we are going to calculate the mean first and we said the mean is actually summation f x all over summation f so I will need a column for my X. I remember I told you that I'm going to be explaining mid value. X stands for mid value. Now to get our mid value, we need our class interval to get our mid value. It is actually gotten from the class interval. So how do you do that? Let me pick the first entry, which is 21 to 30. Now to get the mid value of this is by saying 30 plus 21, you know, actually finding the average. So it's going to uh, give you uh, 51 over 2 which is actually 25.5 so that is how we calculate the mid value so we move straight to the column to have our data there so that here we are going to have 25.5 uh, continuously we have um, 35.5 using the same method then here is 45.5 and it goes down after getting this the next thing we need to get is our f x all right we need to get our fx and fx means is f times x we have the f column we have the x column so we multiply you see the first one is 2 times 25.5 which will give you 51 all right then you go 10 times 35.5 of course uh, this is 355 okay we go down uh, to continue to fill it in you can use your calculator to actually do that so i'll just display the numbers on the screen Okay, so we are now good to go. Now, this is the mean summation fx. So we actually need to find the sum of fx. So we need to find the sum of fx. And of course, we need to find the sum of f. And the sum of f is 50 using your calculator. And the sum of fx, again, using the calculator, that is adding the terms in the column or adding the numbers in the column is... 2535 so we have 2535 okay this is the summation so we can move and get our mean so our mean which is our x bar will be equals to 2325 sorry we have 2535 divided by 50 and this will give us uh, 50.7. So our mean X bar is actually 50.7. So we are done with the first part of the challenge. Then let's move to get the uh, mean deviation. Now remember, we have a formula for mean deviation. So if you see, we will need X minus X bar now. So the next column will be x minus x bar now meaning 
whatever it is in the mid value minus the uh, mean, which is 50.7. So subtracting it here, we are going to have uh, 25.5 minus 50.7, which is the first entry. And the answer will be minus, minus 25.2. Now going further, you are going to have minus 15.2 here. Then if you check 45.5 minus 50.7 will give us minus 5.2. The next entry, which is 55.5 minus 50.7 will be 4.8. And this will be 14.8. And this will be 24. Point eight. So we've gotten this. Now, the next thing which is very important is it is the absolute value of the deviation, which is x minus x bar. You can see it there. So we will move. This will be absolute value of x minus x bar. Now you ask me, what is the meaning of the absolute value of x minus x bar? It means the positive value of that thing, okay? Absolute value of anything means the, pos the, pos the positive value of that thing, all right? So if we have minus 25.5, the absolute of it will be the positive, which is 25.2, all right? And this is 15.2, and this is 5.2, 4.8. 14.8 and 24.8. So we are done with this aspect. The next thing is to get the F uh, times the deviation. All right. So we move. We need to have our F, then the absolute value of the deviation. All right. Which we have everything. So it's going to be 2 times 25.2. That is what we have first, which is going to be 50.4. Then we continue um, 10 times 15.2, uh, which will be um, 152.0. Okay, then we continue. Now the next is 12 times 5.2 which will give us 62.4. And so you can use your calculator actually to get the rest of the values just as I'll display on the screen. So we have the last column and everything is okay. Now the next thing we need to know is that it is actually the summation of F into the deviation. So we need to sum this. Once again, you pick your calculators you make sure you meticulously follow them one by one. You add them. And once you add, you are going to get 529.6. Okay, 0.6 as our summation. So everything is okay. Then we move to get our mean deviation. Now, this is the formula once again mean deviation md is summation f into the absolute of x minus x bar okay all over summation f in this case the summation uh, the numerator is 529.6 all over summation of the frequency which is 50 now dividing it you are going to get 10.592 now to one decimal place we can actually get our answer as 10.6 so this is how to calculate the mean deviation of a group data now I want to believe you've understood everything is meticulously followed. So keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to pass your comments and uh, keep following for more interesting videos.